He just wants to be in the video really bad. <laughs> My skin though, you guys, be looking like the coronavirus. Hey guys, it's your girl Kiri and I'm back for another video. So today I'm going to do a quick review on Hourglass products. This is actually um, something that I bought back in Christmas, but I just, I never had time, like always. Hourglass Ambient Palette and also the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Brush. So I just decided to get this together because I know they work well together and this is the brush that you're supposed to be using for these. This is the 2020 edition of the Ambient Lighting Edit and this is the mini. They usually release two different palettes every year and one is going to be like the bigger one that has like six different um, stuff in it and this one just had four they have very different colors and i decided to go with this one just because i felt like it had most of the shades that i wanted especially my goal was to go after the highlighter i ordered both of these at the sephora website um this one was 58 dollars, and this one is 46 dollars. i have heard really good things about this brush in fact it was almost always sold out whenever i was on the mood to get it and then it'd be sold out and i'd be like okay maybe it's not meant to be around christmas i said you know what let me just get it for myself have it as a christmas gift and not feel bad about it so that's why i bought this i actually talked to the rep and she told me that this was created to have the perfect bristles and the brush and to properly um, pick up the powder in the palette and so that's just what's gonna apply it best but you know what feel free to explore if you find something that works better then and is also cheaper then go 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 you know the hourglass powders are really really popular they are from europe i think it's made in italy talk to the rep about it basically what makes the hourglass powder so special is because it has like specific technology that they develop so that it will reflect light in a way that when it hits your face like the powder in your face is just gonna look so flattering almost like if there was a soft box i don't know if you guys know photography but whenever you go into a photo shoot some photographers will set up a, a soft box and it's just gonna make your face look a perfect <laughs> you know this isn't the first time that i purchased an hourglass product i do have like a favorite biting powder from them and um, i also have tried their translucent veil powder and italians know what they were doing so right now i've already done my foundation i have done my eyebrows and my eyes the only things that i haven't done is like um a finishing powder or a setting powder i haven't done blush any contour like bronzer and no highlighter so i think this is the perfect step and time for me to try out the hourglass palette let's try this out so really pretty packaging they know what luxurious means and then you get this one which is this one shows you um the numbers and it tells you number one is to apply soft light finishing powder and do it all over the face and then number two is the bronzer and you just do it in you know where you usually contour and then number three is going to be your blush to apply it to your cheek area and number four is going to be the highlight which goes on your cheekbone so i love it i love the gold i love the sides that is kind of like edgy it makes it look very modern and sleek oh man oh my gosh look at how pretty that is so this one is going to be your finishing this is going to be the bronzer the blush and the highlight first let me swatch Ooh, the highlight i'm excited for that one they're not bold but I'm excited to see how it looks on the face because their whole goal is not to be dramatic but to kind of enhance your makeup and give you that perfect glow. My butt bought these two hourglass brushes as well. Veil powder brush that goes perfectly for the um, translucent powder. And then this one is the ambient lighting brush, which is perfect because of the size of this. So we're finally gonna try this out. <laughs> my husband being such a weirdo. What are you doing? I told him to do my video. Oh. So for the whole face, we're gonna do the soft. I guess this is what, um, one of the downsides of getting this thing. It's so small, so you have to like get it nice and like not get the other stuff on it. Okay, that's pretty. It has that nice um softening finish. Wow. They're not kidding. They just that just like it gave my face a nice really pretty filter. And a little bit really does go a long way. So 
I like that. I'm impressed. Okay. Okay, it's not dramatic. It's it's hard to tell if it's like cool undertoned or warm. I think it's pretty like it's just it's, it's kind of neutral. I like that a little bit goes a long way. I feel like this palette is gonna be perfect for those of you who just want a more natural makeup. Cause I'm the type that goes really dark with my contour. Do you see how pretty that is? That is stunning. Stunning. Okay, Hourglass, I see you. I'm excited to see the blush. I don't know if it's gonna be like bold. If Let's see. Okay. Wow, it actually looks pretty. Well, well, it's not as dark as I thought it would be but the pigment is there. I like that it doesn't just pack it on to the point that you might make a mistake and be like, oh shoot, I did a little, a little much. Hey, mm -hmm. He just wants to be in the video really bad. <laughs> okay, so can you see the blush? Slightly on the warm side, or maybe that's my foundation that's kind of looking warm today. My skin though, you guys, be looking like the coronavirus. Pissing me off. Okay, now let's try the highlighter. I am so excited for this. The highlighter is one of the reasons why I went with this palette and not the bigger one, which is like the sculpture, because I feel like this one just pops more and is a little bit lighter, which I know will look more flattering on my skin. And I'm the type where as natural as I want my look to be, with the highlighter, it's go hard or go home. Okay, and with a leftover brown, let me just put it on my nose. So we can do a little bit of contouring and make that look. Okay, do you see that? So let's try this. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm in love. It is shining, shimmering, splendid. See, I don't even have to use my small mirror to see and know where to apply it, but oh my God, this highlighter is, is everything. Okay, this is what you pay for with Hourglass. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I have been looking for the best highlighter in the market. And honestly, I've gone back and forth with all kinds of highlighters, like the Becca Cosmetics. I've used the Farsali one, but that just freaking dried out so quickly and I hated it. Um, but I like the wet look it gave. It was just so hard to work with. And this gives you the wet look effortlessly. Oh my God. Wow, that is so pretty. So on to my final thoughts. I think it's pretty obvious from my intro already that I do like this product and I am honestly surprised at, at the colors and how it performs. I feel like there's really honestly nothing bad I could say about this. Um, let's go over all the good stuff. The packaging. I mean, the packaging is beautiful. How luxurious is it? I mean, it's gold, very compact, so it's easy to take with you anywhere. It's not like bulky, it's not thick, so I like that. Because it's very travel friendly. Although it is lightweight, it doesn't feel flimsy at all. I also love how luxurious and edgy this packaging looks. If you're someone like me that pays attention to packaging and that matters to you, then you would like it. But if you're someone who doesn't care, that's fine too because function-wise, it performs. So let's talk about that. The colors are stunning. That highlighter, oh my god, it is... It is on point. Hands down, the best highlighter in the market, in my opinion. It gives you that natural, flawless, wet, shiny, shimmering, splendid look. I am obsessed. I feel like it's very versatile. It's easy to pack on, whether you want it to look natural and just do a light version of it, or if you want to go a little hardcore, you can pack it on. It's probably just going to take a little bit more time though. The dang technology. They know what they're doing because it really is just absolutely flattering to the face when you put it on. It's it's a filter. It really is. They should call this ambient lighting filter because that's what it does to your face. It makes it flawless. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's so light, but it makes you flawless. This is also really lightweight and I like that there's two different ends. And so again, travel friendly, you can just get one thing and you have two things to work with, okay? Two heads. <laughs> and um, 
the bristles are very very soft i'm not gonna lie it also gets a lot of pigment into the brush and so when you put it on you're not going back and forth too many times you're not wasting product so absolutely this is amazing so now on to the negative stuff the down thing about this is that it is pretty pricey that's all that i can say it's just pricey other than that it's awesome so i think that there's only two things that i can really think of that's negative about this one it does feel pricey for just four colors but then again you kind of get what you pay for so if i were you i know that it's a holiday palette but it doesn't mean that you have to have it on the same year that it released you can wait until i think on december after christmas around like december 27 they usually put the hourglass holiday palettes on sale i just didn't know about it because this was the first time I, I bought hourglass i didn't know that they're the type to put something on sale after which i should have waited but i was impatient so you should totally wait because you don't have to say like oh it's 2020 so i can only use it in 2020 no not at all use it for 12 months after opening that's actually pretty smart to wait until it's on sale and save a good 10 bucks that could go into something else like buying the brush now the brushes i don't think these go on sale you really have to wait for the website to do their little deals here and there that's like occasionally doing a 15 percent or 20 percent off then maybe you will get a discount but then that the brushes are going to be the same price all throughout the year the second bad thing is although this is supposedly meant to be flattering for a lot of skin tones it's not it's definitely not universal i know that on darker skin tones i have friends that have tried this out it just it barely showed up on them except for the highlighter and a little bit of the blush they had to really pack it on the highlighter did pop though that's for sure the highlighter hands down i think it's pretty universal but all the other shades it's like it barely showed up on her skin which is so disappointing because her skin is stunning so i know that it would have enhanced it and made it look like she was on a billboard time it's all photoshopped and perfect i really wish that it worked out for her but it didn't so i think hourglass needs to work a little bit more on their shades and making sure that their stuff really is universal but other than that i think they're amazing really love this this product i'm so glad i did get it i just wish that i got it a little bit cheaper like other people did overall i do give this a 10 out of 10 because it worked amazing for me i am in love with it and i am trying to be more minimalistic this year and not have too much makeup products and so because of how Having this palette I am now just able to get rid of like multiple bulky products I can get rid of a finishing powder I can get rid of a blush and a bronzer and a highlighter because I have everything I want into this and I'm trying to make sure that I use it up within that 12 months so that I'm not gonna be wasting products and just buy 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 which is what I've been doing for the past years and it kind of ends up being a waste because it expires in like 12 or 18 months um, that is a new thing I'm trying out this year, just going more minimalistic. I think it's it's perfect that this comes with just a small thing. So it, it's for sure that I'm going to use this up within 12 months. I know I'm getting my money's worth and I am using it all the way down till it gets finished, okay? I think that's all that I have to say. If you have any comments, comment it down below. Hit like and subscribe and I'll see you for some more. motherhood i knew i wasn't gonna be able to do a full video without my kid just start crying and needing to feed